The summer of 2012 has been one of the hottest on records for Northeast Ohioans, reaching 90 degrees 26 times. According to a recent report from theworldbank.org, corn and soybean prices reached all-time highs this summer, increasing by 10 percent nationwide. Earl Niestockel has co-owned Byler's Market in Uniontown for over 30 years. He says current prices are to be expected. Like box goods with corn starch, corn um, ingredients. I mean, we sell corn starch and, and those kind of products. Uh, those prices changing at all? Those, yes, they've gone up. Uh, How much? Uh, maybe 10 percent. Is that out of the ordinary, or is that what you expect? It, it's all seasonal. I mean, it just depends on the harvest for that year. Okay. So, should Kent shoppers be concerned? Dr. Lockwood Reynolds has taught economics in Kent State University's College of Business Administration since 2007. He says this year's situation is unique. It's not the normal every year. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, usually we don't have these type of problems. Like last summer was a lot wetter, so it, it was much easier for farmers to grow crops. This year, as I said, you know, half the country has been in a drought, mm -hmm. uh, in a potentially severe drought in certain locations. And so that, th that sort of magnitude doesn't happen very often. Dr. Reynolds says the effects of the drought are affecting everyone around the world, not just us here in Northeast Ohio. To the extent that there's not as much food being provided or the price of that food is going to be higher here, it's going to be more difficult to supply uh, sort of low-cost food to the rest of the world. So this could have actually sort of bigger implications, not just here in the United States, but spreading around to sort of the developing countries in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. Even though the food shortage is having worldwide effects, Niestockel isn't concerned about his sales. Prices fluctuate, they go up and down, and, and we've had other years where, where things, you know, you get a shortage in some kind of product and it, it escalates and, and then it comes back down next harvest, so okay. I, it's not really out, too much out of the ordinary. With TV2 News, I'm Josh Minnick.